One man dead and a woman rescued after trying to cross the U.S.-Mexico border in the ocean water near Borderfield State Park. Desperate people take desperate measures to save their lives. Immigration experts say this is yet another example of migrants willing to risk their lives for a chance at seeking asylum. Good afternoon, I'm Lindsay Pena. ABC 10 News reporter Sofia Hernandez shares more on this rescue and why experts believe with Title 42 still in place, we'll only continue to see similar incidents in the future. It's unfortunately something that will not end until we resume the asylum process that asylum seekers merit, which is allow them to be processed into the United States when they present themselves at a port of entry. Margaret Cargioli with Immigrant Defenders Law Center is referencing the death of a man at the U.S.-Mexico border on Tuesday after he and one woman were found swimming near Borderfield State Park. The woman was taken off the fence and is currently being evaluated for injuries, while the man was pronounced dead after performing CPR. Migrants uh, find themselves frustrated that there isn't an opportunity for them to present themselves at the port for asylum, and that leads to desperation, and that leads to seeking out extremely dangerous ways of crossing into the U.S. Advocates like Pedro Rios says with Title 42 still in place, we will continue to see individuals put themselves in harm's way, crossing oceans or deserts, hoping to be detained by a patrol officer. Yet Rios says they won't get to seek asylum. Under Title 42, they will be expelled quickly and there won't be a bad opportunity for them. According to CBP's website, in San Diego, there's been a 39% increase in encounters at the border this year compared to last. Thus far, more than 72,000 encounters have been on the basis of Title 42. Advocates say until that's gone, we will only continue to see more migrants in harm's way. We know they're going to be coming here and we know that Title 42 is not really helping anything. They should be focused on education, on training more officers to be able to process people the right way. Sophia Hernandez, ABC 10 News. Saposhnik says that training should involve officers asking migrants the right questions in order to process them safely. Sophia did reach out to CBP for the latest numbers for rescues and deaths at the border this year and is still waiting to hear back. Experts believe this summer there will be a record-breaking number of deaths as more migrants will likely try to cross through the desert.